Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I think I'm in labor. Actually, I'm definitely in labor. Today is November 11th. It's like, I hope you can't hear the kids watching Annie in the background, but it is 7.55. I've been up for about two hours having pretty consistent contractions. Hi, Bubba. Anna woke up super early. I think she like knows what's going on. She's like, baby sister, baby sister. Hey. You should watch with me. Let's go. Last cuddles is a family of four. Right, Layla? And he's coming. <laughs> coming. How are you feeling? I'm crying. <laughs> oh. oh, Logan's mom just got here. I think. This happened like pretty quickly, which I thought was gonna happen because it's my third within the last like three, four, four years, three and a half years. Um, so last night, so basically I've been having contractions for like weeks like i've been having early signs of labor for so long and i knew i was it was gonna come without any warning i've been having like braxton hicks contractions for days and then all of a sudden last night i was like having it felt like deeper contractions like it felt like they were a little bit more serious but it definitely wasn't in labor yet and then i woke up this morning and my back hurt really bad and i remember with Layla, I really only had back labor. So. Okay, you can take a break from talking. <laughs> Grandma's here, so. I'll go greet Grandma. Okay, tell her I'll be right out. Grandma just got here. <laughs> Logan's mom's here. Basically, in between contractions, I feel great. Fine. But then, during them, they're very painful. Anyways, like I was saying, I woke up this morning and they were coming. They were just coming hard. And they started off like seven minutes apart. Right now I haven't really been timing them because like I just know already that I'm in labor so I'm just not even trying to time them. I'm just gonna go to the hospital. I am doing this unmedicated again. I'm really glad the timing of this. Logan's mom's off work today. So convenient. It's morning time. We've gotten all, well, most of our last minute house things done. I'm just like trying to run around and like do last loads of laundry. We just put new sheets on the bed. Um, I spent all last night painting a dollhouse, which I'm very proud of, so I'm going to put that stuff away before we go. And then, like I explained in my hospital bag video, I have like a list of things I need to pack that were like, I wasn't going to pack like when I packed it ahead of time, so yeah. We'll update you guys, we're probably going to leave for the hospital soon. Um, I have this red <laughs> dent on my forehead from doing this during my contractions. Like, I like have to lean down. Anyway, I'm gonna do some makeup. <laughs> I am having like, oh, I don't know how to explain it. Jitters. Like, I'm anxious and excited. And in between contractions, I'm like, frick. Another one is gonna come any second now. Okay, just did a little makeup and I'm gonna pack this last minute stuff in my bag it was just like my slippers and my toiletries my camera stuff i packed so i have a suitcase that i'm bringing and we have like some small bags with like computer stuff and like our wallets and whatever <laughs> this is our new karaoke machine <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm good. You gotta let the sound say it.
Oh no! <laughs> the battery's dying. We're headed to the hospital. So excited. <laughs> I think we're gonna stop and get breakfast. I think they really let you eat after you like get admitted and like you're in labor. I don't really know. I've never tried. I don't feel like eating at all right now. Okay, guys, be good for grandma. Yay! We're coming home with baby sister. Yay! Love you, Anna. I'll be back with baby sister. But you'll have grandma. Can we say goodbye? Gotta give Anna her last snuggles. Say bye, mommy. No. <laughs> I love you, Anna. Oh no, mommy has to put you down. Uh oh. I know. I know. Actually, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. I'll give you snuggles before we go. Oh no. Don't worry, we'll find it. Anna, you gotta say good luck, mommy. No, oh, she knows. She knew this morning. She knew last night. She knew this whole week. <laughs> I love you, Anna. <laughs> Gonna go, Grandma? You ready? Anna, you gotta say good luck, mommy. <laughs> good luck, <Thank> mommy. You. <laughs> Anything else? I think we're good. You want to carry that bag? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I just had a contraction, so I'll be fine for a second. Bye guys! Bye! Alrighty. Look how pretty the trees look. Excited? I'm so excited. My legs are very not shaved and I pee on them. Let's get it girl! I'm so scared to have contractions in the car. Oh wait, I don't I didn't grab the beanie. Do you want do you wanna get cook it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why, but I keep crying. It's so cute! Not even from being in pain, I don't know why I keep crying. Okay, we just stopped at Panera to grab food and um, Logan just ran in so that I could like stand outside of the car because I cannot stand sitting in the seat of the car when I'm having contractions. It's like literally the worst part of all of labor, I feel like. Um, so, I just had one, so I'm kind of waiting for the next one. I have not been timing these at all, so I'm definitely having this baby. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Date baby is eating. She's been eating for like an hour now. She's like eating so well and she's just so peaceful and happy. It's just the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> like I said, I started having contractions this morning at like six in the morning and it was like mostly just back labor, but it was like it, it just all happened really quickly. Like I like immediately knew when it was happening. Like it, I was definitely in labor. I was just running around because like they would hurt. And then obviously they get progressively worse, but like in between contractions, I usually was like fine. So I was from 6 a.m. when I woke up, I was running around doing stuff in between all the contractions, just like get everything ready. Logan's mom came over. We get here at 10 or 9.45. She's born at 10.45. And within the time that we actually got here, like got into the room and stuff, I we barely had time for like me getting checked in. Like it happened really fast. 
I'm trying to just like listen to my body when I'm in labor. I don't know. I, I don't know if that makes sense. So once I'm like feeling like I need to push, I like just go with like what my body's just doing. I want to say it was 10.38. I was still having contractions, but I could tell that it wasn't like I needed to push yet. But then I had one that was like feeling super intense. So I was like, I need to get onto my like hands and knees. So I got on my hands and knees on the bed. And I think the, when you labor that way, you um, are kind of using gravity to your advantage. So as soon as I did that, like with that contraction, my water broke. So then 10.38, my water broke. And then 10.45, little baby came. I was only pushing for three minutes. It felt like longer, but I was only pushing for three minutes. And this time, it felt really, like, chaotic. And I felt like I was kind of losing my rhythm because the doctor was, like, trying to talk to me and, like, telling me to, like, not scream. Uh... Anyway, so I kind of, like, was at a point where I didn't know what to do. And then one of the nurses, like, snapped me out of it. And she was, like, focus and, like, relax and, like, breathe and just push and she like just said something to me that made me like snap back in to focus and push her out so and i'm really glad we came when we did because uh obviously we're only here for like an hour before she was actually born but that is also my goal to like not spend a whole lot of time in the hospital because like with anna i feel like we were like having to walk around oh there goes my arm band we're having to walk around for a while before like yeah so i was like having all my contractions in the hospital it was really nice to just get to have like go through that like at home at first before we actually um got admitted here i never had like a whole lot of pain from the tearing because it was like minor but this time i didn't tear at all so i didn't have to get stitches or anything so it was nice like after i got the placenta out i could just chill the baby and wasn't getting all stitched up i feel like she looks kind of like me as a newborn i don't even know like i can't even tell who she looks like because she doesn't really look like anna she definitely has like a similar nose. Maybe she's gonna look like me. Finally. <laughs> I'm on the way, I'm on the way. Okay, let me go get Emma. <laughs> Emma! Emma! Are you home from school? Yeah! Oh, great! Hello! Alright, okay! Baby's here! Okay. We got here at. 9.45, she came at 10.45. <laughs> wow, you are a speedy one, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Making chicken, yes, get chicken chicken. We're ordering food now. <laughs> well, you just do this so easily. I know. <laughs> but she's eating so good. She's been eating literally this whole time, and she's just, like, wide awake. She just fell asleep. Oh, that's terrific. Also, look at this hair. Oh wow! I know this is Did a lot of dark hair. No, no, no! I haven't posted anything yet. I'm not gonna post about it until like a couple days. Oh. Yeah. So when's your birthday? Eleven, okay. eleven, ten forty-five, and we haven't weighed her yet either. So we'll let you know when we find out how big she oh, is. <laughs> Baby just got weighed. She is seven pounds, 10 ounces. So big. So big, my biggest baby. Anna was seven, eight. This girl was seven, 10. Oh, and 19 inches long? Yeah, this one's a beast. <laughs> I don't know how she's doing this. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm getting tired. I think I should take a nap. But I'm about to take a shower and then we're gonna move into the recovery room and then I can just relax. My tummy feels all squishy. <laughs> I was trying to nap and for some reason I just could not sleep. I was just like so excited and like restless. So I kept like trying to and then I would fall asleep and just like wake up. So I'm pretty tired. So luckily I got really good sleep last night. Logan just went home for a couple hours. It's like evening now, like 9.30. And Logan was just at home with the girls for a few hours, um, which I think was so good for them to get some time with him. Um, they just got to play and like have dinner and stuff. Look at this. Yeah. She's so sick. Yeah. Good morning. 
morning. We got a little bit of sleep last night. Baby just got all of her tests and stuff done and she's doing great. So they're sending us home. We're very happy we get to go home to the girls. Uh, she just got her bath. We're getting baby in her going home outfit. I'm so excited. Um, we're gonna try to take some pictures before we go. She's all dressed. I just got dressed. We're getting ready to head out. We have all of our discharge paperwork. We just are packing our stuff up. And I'm gonna take some pictures. And we have her little name announcement card or like a uh, thing that I ordered. So I'm gonna get some little pictures of her. <laughs> the car seat up yeah you're ready to go i can't believe we're headed home with baby right now i am so excited <laughs> um we are in the car baby's in the back she's doing so good she's just so happy she's and just content. content she just chilled oh, she's so good if she if she's like this we're golden she's about to go home to layla and anna who's about to destroy her though <laughs> We'll see what happens. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching our labor and delivery vlog. We're so excited for this next chapter. Yes. To enter a new world. Feels like. so much fun. Um, and yeah, so the next video you guys will see will be right after this when we get home and the girls meet Baby and we'll tell you guys her name and all that good stuff. I'm gonna get settled in at home. I feel so good and I'm like so excited, but I definitely need to like go home and be resting because uh, breastfeeding I feel like is already, it's gonna be draining me. And I just gave birth yesterday. So I need to try to chill. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and we will see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.